Hello, my friends, I'm Retzo, and I'm back here again, and today we are reviewing LEGO Creator London Postcard. This is 277 pieces, it is set 40569, and it is for ages 9 and up. So this looks pretty cool, I thought it looks pretty cool, that's why I have it, and uh, let's review it. So first off, we're going to need to cut the tape off this side. I also on the back have a little LEGO stud map of the world with a little marker, just in case you didn't know where London is. See, it's right in the middle of the tiny four dots that make up England. Okay, now let's open up this. Don't know why they include that map. And let's shove it out. What the heck? <laughs> what? What even is this? A 2x10? What? Oh. Oh, well that start with. We have two we have a bag two, another bag two, a sticker sheet, a very bent sticker sheet, a lot of plates. Why are all the black plates not in a bag? And we have another bag two. How many bag twos are there? A bag one and I believe that's it. So okay, let's get building. Why are there so many plates not in bags? Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It helps you out a ton. Now, on with the show. Okay, so we are back from the build laps, and I love this set. I love it so much that I got hair in it. <laughs> I really like this set. It does, in fact, look like a postcard, although it is 3D, which makes it better than a postcard. I thought it was going to be flat, but as you can see, it has depth. So you have the nice little London right there with a mustache and a bowler hat. Because everybody in London has a mustache. It's like, dude, I, I like how they've just associated London with Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> so we have a nice cloud up there. If you look in the background, you can see these like gray and sandy colored things for other buildings. So we'll start from left and go to the right. We have Big Ben here. Looks really, really cool. Tallest landmark there is. It goes off of the page, which is cool. There are two clock faces. I believe it's facing to like... I don't know, I believe it's 5.45, I think, or something like that. If, if that has any significance at all, tell me in the conversation down below. There's a little British flag flying from it, that's nice and cool. Down here, as you can see, there's a lot of pavement, but there's little bushes and trees. That tree is obscured by the lamppost, but there's a tree here. And there's also a lamppost over there. Then if we keep moving, you'll see there's a nice cloud, which was originally used as a base plate in the Unikitty Lego series, I believe, or something like that. Then we have the Brickadilly Circus, which I don't know if Piccadilly Circus is a movie theater or whatever, but it looks pretty cool. As you can see, there's nice stripes and a brick there on the front of Brickadilly Circus. Then we have a guy with hearts around his head. I don't know what that means. There's a crown emphasized by speed lines. There's a sound and bricks. Sound bricks. I don't know what that means. There's just some musical things with sound bricks. And then if you look right there, fish and chips. A Lego fish. Lego French fries that don't really exist, and then you have a newspaper that says London. I really like that. Just for confirmation, the chips in London are French fries. Yeah, I believe so. And that's the, but last but certainly not least is the bus, but we'll get that after the eye. So the eye is the London eye. It's not really an eye, it's a massive Ferris wheel. So all these little clear things are the carriages or gondolas. And then in the center, as you can see, is the support. Because if it didn't, the entire thing would just roll away. But it's very cool. It's nice and large. It doesn't go off the screen except for this little thing right here. That's still pretty cool. And last but not least, we have the infamous double-decker bus. I really like this. There's a little see-through plate on the bottom, so it looks like it's floating. These wheels are not dumbbell pieces like I thought they'd be. They're, in fact, a little uh, two flat studs put on either side. And I really like it. It does, in fact, have two floors. And it looks really cool. Now, the one thing I have to say before I give my opinion of this postcard is the fact that there are, in fact, more than just this postcard. London is not the only one. As you can see from the instruction booklet, there is also Paris, which for every has snakes on the name tag, which is the Eiffel Tower, a balloon, the Arch de Triomphe, a bridge. You also have New York, which I might be getting soon, as the Eiffel Tower. No, Eiffel Tower. Brooklyn Bridge, Lay Liberty, Empire State Building, and the Chrysler Building. And then you also have Beijing, which has the Great Wall of China, and I believe the Palace of the Kings, I think. And there's one other that isn't here, Australia. Emperor. You have all the great cities. 
And then you have Australia, just general Australia. I really like it. I'm not like saying it's a bad card. I just don't understand why there's a bunch of good cities and then there's just a random location. Also, the, uh, China has emperors, not kings. Whatever, the Palace of Emperors. Um, yeah, so I really like this thing. It's really, it's not really a play toy. You don't really play with it, but I think it looks really, really cool. What do you think of it, Katsy? I think it's really cool. What do you think, D-Lot? I like it. Yep. All right, so that's our positive review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my blast building this little Lego set, and I will catch you next time. Sayonara. Sayonara.